I wonder how much of it is it may, maybe the unanswerable question, but how much of this was pandemic lockdown fueled? Because I mean, things changed so dramatically. The hiring, everybody went online. We heard tech execs saying things like, this is fast forwarded adoption by 10 years or five years. And we kind of expected that to like just continue, I guess, even after everything goes, the new normal, right? There was no back to normal. It was the new normal and it was going to stay like this. Yeah. And so the hiring did go astronomical, like you cited at the big tech companies. They needed it because they had this increased capacity. Everybody's using their services. Stocks are going up. So they have extra funds to invest. And gosh, we find out that like, I don't know, like there was no new normal or it's kind of going back. I mean, it was really wasn't like a fast forward. It was like a temporary fast forward, at least to a certain I, degree. It's, it's weird. It, it, it feels like this, the swing just swung the head and now it's swinging back. Yeah. yeah. There was a fast forward, right? For, for a while where the whole world was locked down and, and digital became a lot more important. But I, I, I think a good example that I, I, I think of, and I have a bit, bit of insight into this company is Hopin. Hopin is this video, uh, it's events company, so they do digital events. And they were founded in 2019, so a year before the pandemic. Uh, they raised, like I think, like a few million dollars of funding. And then the pandemic started. And right as the pandemic started, they raised a, a bigger funding uh, to scale the team because it seemed, okay, you know, like digital events will now be a thing because there's a lockdown. And they saw huge demand uh, in both 2020 and 2021 for their a solution I actually organized. Uh, it was you could organize online conferences with their tool, and I actually helped organize a digital conference. I think it was the fall of 2020 or something like that because it was locked down. I didn't have anything to do. I was like, let, let me do this. And <laughs> sure. we looked at vendors and we chose Hopin in the end. I think we paid like a couple thousand uh, for their their license or, or whatnot. They had, they had this licensing and, and we ran the event and it was a success and people liked it. But what I noticed is, and, and then the company kept raising more money. And at some point they were valued 7.8 billion or, or something. I, th I think that was the, the peak, uh, as, as I recall. And this was like two years into, into founding of the company. And, and then what happened is as, well, first of all, like just from my personal perspective, you know, I, I'm not going to represent all their users, but I just really got burnt of, of digital events. Like I went to a couple of these digital only conferences and after a while I just started hating it. I was doing Zooms all day, every day. So I just didn't want to go there. And as soon as the world started to open up, I, I've just been to my first uh, proper conference. I, I, I love the, the the normal conference format and I would not, okay, may, maybe I would jump on to watch a video uh, online, but I don't think it's really important. And and then with this company Hopin, they they saw their, their growth just first stall. And the thing that might save the company is they actually bought a, a bunch of different companies. They bought StreamYard, which is a streaming company.